With much of the world in lockdown, we rely more than ever on online forms of communication. Group video chats are vital to keeping many businesses running, so we put together a list of the best video conferencing apps you can use today. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is four of the best video conferencing apps for 2020. So here we are, in the middle of the coronavirus outbreak, and everyone is hunkering down and social distancing. The problem is, life must go on. There is still work to do, and many people find themselves distanced from groups of people that they really need to collaborate with. You can do that with video conferencing apps. Here are some of the best video conferencing apps that you may want to use to connect in a virtual meeting room. They are free or low cost plans to get you started with virtual conferencing. Preconferencecall.com Free conference call is not tricking you with the word free in its title. It's 100% free with the option of monthly donations of whatever you think is appropriate. This virtual meeting software offers you audio and video conferencing, web meetings, screen sharing and call recording at no cost to you. The platform allows you to have up to a thousand people on a call, which is a fantastic capacity. The audience can participate on their computers or mobile devices with their iOS and Android apps for tablets and phones. Meetings are easy to schedule and you get a combination of great features to make your conference happen. You can get recordings of the audio and visual from your meeting, robust security features, call management features, calendar integrations and international dial-in numbers from over 60 countries. If you have questions or get stuck, Free Conference Call offers 24-7 live customer support and mobile applications. Easy Talks during a video from Easy Talks, you can IM chat, share files, do screen share, and use their interactive whiteboard to collaborate with your team or share information effectively with the group. There are audio only options to use if you prefer. You can get their startup software for free and still have access to up to 25 participants in your webinar, and the meeting can be up to 100 minutes in length. Conferences with Easy Talk give you control over the meeting by giving you the capability to lock your meeting rooms, authorise others to present material and even take live polls. Invite people using a direct link and then record meetings for those who could not attend. You also get one gigabyte of free cloud storage for your sessions if you're using the free versions. Join.me if you want to hold a discussion or demonstrate something to a small group of people, another platform that's easy to get started on is Join.me. Get your people on the call with easy scheduling that integrates with both Google Calendar and Microsoft Outlook. The free version of Join.me includes up to five participants per meeting. There are no time limits or limits on the number of meetings you can hold. You can change presenters who can then share their screens and use the whiteboard to collaborate with other attendees. There's also an option to change the background of your video stream. It's available for all types of devices, including laptops, desktops and smartphones. Zoom. Zoom is now a very popular virtual meeting space. The free version allows you to host up to 100 participants in your meeting with a 40 minute limit for the call. You can have unlimited time for one to one calls and you can host as many meetings as you want. Like other options, Zoom gives you the option of sharing your screen using a whiteboard, recording your meetings and storing them on your computer. It also includes a breakout room feature where your attendees can break up into small groups so they can collaborate more effectively. Zoom is very easy to use. Joining meetings requires only one touch of your audience's devices or clicking on their browser. If you find yourself needing to start video conferencing due to this current outbreak, these are great places to begin. You may find that the convenience of them is something you'll want to continue to use even after life goes back to normal. If you have any trouble with the technical side of your meeting, we have some resources that you can use to help you to fix your webcam or microphone. Links in the description. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.